Shalom and welcome to our 21st annual Passover Feast of Unleavened Bread. This is part 13 of Preparing for Rulership. King James Version of the Bible. In the Old Testament, is the same as the Torah, the law. I come teaching you the laws of Yahweh. Why? Everything created by Yahweh lives by instinct. The law that Yahweh wants them to follow is inborn. His creatures are born carrying out the law that he has programmed them to follow. But there is one creature that is born without knowledge with the exception of the suckling experience. And that's the human being. The human being is born with a blank mind. And any one of us sitting in this building, had we been born in another country, we would grow up speaking the language of that country and it would be natural to us, any one of us. Simply because we grow up speaking a language within a country where we are told who we are does not mean that we have received the truth. matters not the country. As babies, we receive whatever knowledge is presented to us. If that knowledge is incorrect, then we are incorrectly formed. Our mentality is incorrectly formed. The knowledge of ourselves and our true self can be incorrectly formed depending on where you're born. And the human mind is designed where when you receive that knowledge, you will accept it, though it be incorrect, you will accept it without question. So some countries, like Russia, for example, openly admit to the state, to the world, that the state programs their children to think like the state wants them to. Openly admit it. So they, they want their citizens to be atheists, so they do not teach them God. The knowledge of God is in Russia, but it is not taught by the state. The knowledge of God is in America, but it is not taught by the state. Therefore, the true knowledge of the Creator is left out. And they give you such ideas and they tell you it's a theory, the Big Bang Theory. The evolution theory. Then they fail to teach the students the meaning of theory. So you will have a commentator come on television in all languages saying things like, 50 million years ago, the earth was probably filled with dinosaurs. 
You don't listen to words like probably, but see, the commentator was not here 50 million years ago. But the unsuspecting, ignorant masses of people are not taught to be thinkers or to be critical. So they begin to accept ideas of evolution as if this is the truth. Now, it's quite obvious that the enemy, that only, only, only the enemies of Yahweh would want to hide the knowledge of who the Creator is. Without the knowledge of the Creator, then his will and his plans are not known to the people. And that allows the enemy of Yahweh to rule over the people as if they are God. Regardless of your nation, you have been deceived by the enemy of the Creator, Yahweh. I'm speaking logically. I'm appealing to your intellect. And I challenge you to use your mind to think with me. And then go back and research what I tell you. I don't wish to appeal to your emotion because you, emotionally you might believe me now and when you get back out among crazy people, you'll change your mind. They'll change it for you. The enemies to Yahweh have a vested interest in keeping his knowledge away from you so you won't worship the Creator. It is human nature to worship the one who has all power. So men who are the enemies of Yahweh can only get the people of earth to worship them when they hide the knowledge of Yahweh and then they appear to be powerful before you, then you will submit to their will in the stead of Yahweh who has all power. So men who are the enemies of Yahweh, the Creator, are given permission by Yahweh to explode atomic devices, bombs, and to ascend into the clouds and even go into outer space so as to give the people the understanding that they are able to have power to work miracles. And these enemies to Yahweh will not give him credit. And when you see the lightning strike them down, they'll say, well, uh, that's the cause of the Big Bang Theory. We blew up because it was a Big Bang. It sure was a Big Bang. All to get the people of earth to worship man instead of the creator. And now, when you understand that the people don't know God, the true God, then it means the people that are in power can never be moved out of power. So those who come to America and the Indian is here, and they have power to take it from the Indian, there's nobody to challenge him about it. So they come to South America and take over and subdue the Indians of South America 
There's nobody to challenge them about it. So they supplant themselves and supplant their language and put their culture in place. And then give those people a false history. And they subdue the nations of the earth one by one and deceive them. And now have them fighting each other. Believe in the same religion, killing each other. Call the same God and killing each other. It would seem that the people of the world would be able to wake up and see something is wrong, that we believe in the same God, we got the same country, and we're killing each other. All over some ism, a ism, some ism, some ism, some idea, some ism. Something is wrong with the ism. If it's got you killing each other, something's wrong with all these different isms. What, what's wrong? The knowledge of the true God. God is that so? How many have to admit, how many of you do admit, something is wrong with the world? Do you admit something is wrong? Something is out of place. Obviously the people of earth have been given the wrong knowledge. Their knowledge is incomplete. Something is missing. So Yahweh, he causes death. You're born as a baby and you have to die until the true knowledge come back. Till the true God, the true creator returns. You have to have death. That's the only way that can be a rebirth back into the true knowledge. Is you have to get, uh, get rid of the old fool. So Yahweh kills off all his enemies until the new ones are born that's reformed. And then when that finally happens, then there won't be any need for death again. Before Adam and Eve rejected Yahweh, there was no death. And he told them, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die. And they didn't believe Yahweh and they ate of the tree of the knowledge. See, this is about knowledge. It's in the book. Knowledge. The mind thing. So what happened? They, they died because they took in the wrong knowledge. So for the last 6,000 years, you have people ruling the world who have knowledge of good and knowledge of evil. And guess what they rule with? Evil. Because they're in charge of the world, and the world is full of evil. So the rulers of today's world are the perfect of evil and wickedness. They are wicked rulers and the people of the earth mourn. So that at my coming, the people of the earth are mourning. Suffering. Sickness and disease. America is so wicked and corrupt that the leaders of the world know that certain foods are full of poison, insecticide, pesticide, additives, Emulsifiers, millions and millions of different kinds of poisons and food additives and colors have been added to your food, killing the people, causing cancer and all kinds of disease. And yet they approve of it. The USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture, put its stamp of approval of all items that they know is killing the people. It has to be a wicked, evil, ruling country to allow cigarettes to be sold in the country when they know it causes lung cancer and heart disease and destroys people and lives. The law against what is natural and the law of God makes you wicked.
They admit that alcohol kills your liver. Kills your heart. Attacks every organ of your body. Kills your brain cells. You wonder what's wrong with people? Why they act crazy? They've killed off half their brain with alcohol. Every time a person gets drunk, it kills 10 million brain cells. That's what the doctors say. Now, it doesn't take two minute drink to make you a real nut. It affects your mind. It affects your home. It affects your marriage. It affects your sex. A drunk man, he, he can't do nothing. And a drunk woman doesn't know who's doing it. Eighty percent of all automobile accidents are drug-related, alcohol-related. It has to be a wicked country to make it lawful to sell automobile accidents. <laughs> It's a wicked country to make it lawful to sell liver killers. <laughs> it's a wicked country to sell women alcohol that don't know who their father the baby is. Don't know who they laid with last night. It's a wicked country that a man gets drunk and he doesn't know whether he's laying with a man or a woman. See why they want to keep the knowledge of God out of the school? See why they want to keep the knowledge of the law of the Creator away from the people? They call it individual freedom. I don't want nobody to be free to hit me head on in my car. And I'm driving down the road so far. Here's a fool driving down the road drunk. How many believe somebody should be free? to hit you head on because he's drunk. I don't think any of you would sit unless you, your brain is already gone. <laughs> Want someone to be free to run over you and kill your family because they want to drink destructive alcohol. What do you want to do, Yahweh and Yahweh? Doing what I must do. Teach the knowledge of the law of Yahweh. Teach the knowledge of Yahweh. And I'm going to work until the earth is full of the knowledge of Yahweh. And I will be successful. And where is that scripture found? Isaiah chapter 11, verse 9. Read. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. Now that's pretty full. Now, shall is a future tense.
meaning the earth presently is not full of the knowledge of Yahweh. So if the earth is not full of the knowledge of Yahweh, then it must be full of good and evil. It must be full of good and evil. And we know that old serpent called the devil and Satan in Genesis chapter 1 came to Adam and Eve with the knowledge of the tree of good and evil and induced them. Satan did not force them, he invited them to go against the law and the will and the commandment of Yahweh. Yahweh said, don't take that knowledge into your mind. Satan said, oh, it's okay. I got it. I'm full of it. I'm not dead. Look at me. Yahweh won't kill you. Shoot, if you follow me, I'll make you God. That's what Satan said. Knowing both good and evil. That's what he said. And that's what he did. He kept his promise. He made you gods of good and evil, where evil predominates. So being born without the knowledge, the earth being empty of the knowledge, then the wicked rule. The knowledge of God is good. Then what's the knowledge of the wicked? has to be evil. Then they called the people of the earth to love evil. Just a few centuries ago, a hundred years ago, women all over the earth were wearing long dresses. All over the earth. It was a culture of people to wear long garments. But what have the wicked done? They can have women go all the way up. Drive men crazy. Turn men into freaks. They have it on your television. They sell you a car, they sell you a sandwich, everything is a naked woman. You don't know what to eat. Men worship the woman, the creature, instead of the creator. So the knowledge of God is not in the earth. God meant, well, I'm religion. No, 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 no. The knowledge of Yahweh is not in the earth. That's what's, that's what's missing. So I'm proving my point <clears throat> that without the knowledge of Yahweh, there is no law of Yahweh in the earth, meaning divine law is unknown. That's what's wrong with the world. How many admit the world needs a chain of rulership? How many are ready for peace? You'd like to have peace on earth. There's no peace on earth with man's rule. They all sitting up there in New York in United Nations. They don't look very united. They all sitting in a bunch of, in the one room, but they're not united. If there was unity, there would be peace. Lust is the cause of all war. Lust. Straight up and down lust. James 4.1. Lust. What's the cause of war? I'm just to show you. If I show you the cause, you can get rid of it. Where 
does God come from? What's the cause of war? Well, I'm going to show you. Fightings among you. Where does it come from? Read. Come they not hence, even of your lust, that war in your members? Another question. Does it not come from your lust? Read. Ye lust and have not. See, you, you lust after things you don't have. The enemy of Yahweh made you a materialist. Read. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. They make it impossible for you to obtain what all you want. So people do what to get it? There it is. They kill. If you wouldn't believe the Bible tell you to call the war. What a shock. Well, people kill other nations because they want their land, or they want their oil, or they want their gold, and silver, tin, and zinc, and copper, and coffee, and rubber. The wealth that is in their land, they want it for themselves. And when they cannot enslave those people to get what they want for nothing, then they go to war out of their lust and desire to obtain what another man has. And they kill men and women and children out of lust. Yes, sir. It is. It is. Then they fool the masses that go to fight. They fool the people of the country into fighting. Who fools them? The men who are the rulers who are lustful after what somebody else has. The little man who has nothing, he fills him with some love. But he doesn't have the same lust that the ruler has. The lust of the little man, he's clouded up with a little drugs and a little alcohol and a bunch of whores. You know, he'll fight for that. All these different kind of whores. Man, look at these women. <laughs> In every country where they got wars going on, they have women from all over the world. Be two or three or four little blocks, they have hotels and nightclubs. These wicked rulers, they have every kind of woman your heart can dream of so you can have this woman from whatever country before you die, fool. I want me a Chinese woman. And I want me a Mexican woman. I want me an African woman. They tell me 50,000 Frenchmen can't be wrong. <laughs> right? You don't know, you haven't been there, or you haven't studied, but if you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. You know it's right. Fill them full of lust. Then, by the time that fool gets through with drugs, alcohol, and four or five different women from different countries, he'll be ready to die, jump off a mountain, out of an airplane without a parachute. <laughs> Mine is numb. So if I live, I'm going to come back and get me those other women I didn't have. <laughs> I'll die for my country. 
You're not dying for no country. You're dying for some men. For some men who are full of lust to rule over the other country. You don't get none of it. You just get four or five whores. You get to enjoy herpes and gonorrhea and syphilis. Hey, you get to enjoy all that stuff. You have to go get shot and don't get rid of the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Men joined the Navy to have a woman in every port. He'd be, he'd be out on the sea for six months. He'll take any whore that they land, wherever they land, ready to fight. The Bible explains it clearly. You love and desire and have not. And then you turn around and kill out of your desire to have, and yet you have not. You fight and you war, and yet you have not. Because you ask not of Yahweh. You ask of the wicked, and yet you receive not that which you desire. Because you ask of myth without reason, without logic, without truth. And when you ask, you only ask so you can consume what you get of on your lust. You don't want to achieve for the good of man and for the good of the earth. You want to achieve and acquire and acquire and acquire. Get more, 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 more money to satisfy your lust. So you see what's wrong in the world. Without the law of Yahweh, this just goes over and gets worse and worse. Then you have a fool that's walking the street that's ready to snatch your gold chain and ready to snatch you. Break into your home while you're out working, trying to fulfill your lust. He's breaking in your house and your car to fulfill his lust. <laughs> You want to kill the one that mugs you. You want to kill the one that breaks into your business. You want to kill the one that breaks into your house to satisfy his love upon your wife. And he wants to kill you. Forget what you got. So you have a bunch of killers running around in America. Everybody's running around, kill, 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 kill. Murder, she wrote. Murder ordained. Murder, murder. Kill, kill. That's entertain. They call that entertainment. Isn't that fun? He just killed her. Is that America or not? Without the knowledge of God in the school, without the knowledge, that means that those children will grow up and have no knowledge of God to teach their children. So in America, you end up with a godless society. Less and less God in it. You ask me what's wrong with family? Why husbands and wives are killing each other? You ask me why, you see why. Without the knowledge of Yahweh, without the knowledge of the law, then who's the answer? Yahweh. The earth is without something. You can't get the answer in the school because they have taken Yahweh and make certain he's not in there. 
yet the scriptures say the earth shall become full of the knowledge of Yahweh. Well, what do you think? It's just going to be by osmosis? I mean, somebody has to come to the earth. Huh? Somebody, somebody has to come to the earth. One has to come. It can't be five coming because they're not here. So one got to come who is himself full of the knowledge of Yahweh in order to generate others to become full and then have the power and the skill and the wherewithal to fill the earth with the knowledge of Yahweh. And I am that one. That's not another. If so, where is he? This concludes part 13 of Preparing for Rulership.